guys welcome back to our channel the sun is brutal right now um coming in the truck we are gonna share our home away from home with you guys and we'll do a little truck tour there's not too much to see but we'll check it out so without further a do you ready to show them do you think you're a bird I'm telling you, he thinks he owns everything in here. It's all his. This is his truck. He knows his truck. Look at him. <laughs> he thinks he's the driver. He, I guess he wants to show you guys his truck. That's his favorite spot to sit. And he lays there. Is that where mom sits? Now we got the steering wheel. We got the pedals. These are all our gauges. If you notice, my steering wheel does not move. It's stationary. I can't move it. The only thing that I'm able to move is my seat. Um, so that's the dash with everything. And this is the passenger side. And down here is Diesel's litter box. Diesel doesn't use um, regular cat litter. He uses a uh, feline pine. Um, and it's, if anybody hasn't seen it, what it looks like is kind of like little pellety things. Oh no, I dropped one. I just cleaned his litter box so it's nice and clean. Um, and what they smell like is, is pine. They smell like pine. I am sorry the sun is brutal right now coming through. I've even put the stuff down, but it's still just, it's brutal. Next, I have two little cubby holes up top. The first one just has a little cleaning rag. It has a spot for a CB. I don't have one. I don't really have a use for one. I know, I know, I probably should get one, but I don't know. I don't think I would ever talk on it. Um, and then these two switches here are um, for my dome lights for the bunk and um, up front. So that's what that is. Then I got another little cubby hole over there. These speakers and stuff. Yeah, light over there. And I got one over on the on my side too. Um, next we have my cooler. On top of my cooler I have a towel. It kind of keeps the... Diesel doesn't really shed much but it keeps any shedding down and uh, you gotta have a nice cushion under your cat, right? He wants his butt to be good so it's just a chair cushion. Uh, laying around I had a couple of them so I said oh they'll be good for him. So I put it on top of the cooler and he likes to perch there. And then I stuck this little thing here up there and he'll play with it when he's going down the road. It kind of bounces with the truck it's, so it, it works good. He likes it. Actually, he might jump up. Uh, he's going to play with it right now. So he, he likes that. He knows it's his. He knows that's his spot. That's where he rides. Um, I usually hang his leash right here. So if I need it or if I have to put the windows down for some reason, I will hook his leash. Then I don't have to worry about him getting out. Then down here, then I have, um, this thing was great. I picked it up on vacation in Maine last fall. Oh, I have scissors and a little nail file and stuff. But um, it comes with like the little, oh, there's that thing I dropped. I just found it. Um... But I got cleaning products and stuff here. And uh, yeah, the bags and the little scoop and it's got its own little container. So it works really well in the truck. That's where he eats. He actually, sometimes I'll move his bowl over. Um, the garbage can's there. I have little cat print um, rugs on both sides. I don't know if you can see. I got some, my tools and stuff are over there. Um, Underneath here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I'll open it, is his secret hiding spot. 
He likes to sleep in there. I got an extra cat scoop in there. He doesn't seem to mind that it's in his little bin. But that's his secret hiding spot. And um, if I can't find him in the truck, I usually will find him there. That's his little spot. So he stays in that little crate when he wants to hide out. Then we have the bunk. Um, I have a hat always hanging here for when it's rainy, bad weather. The tissue box is knocked over. I don't know why it's usually standing up, but um, this fan um, is for him. Um, that's his little fan. So if it's warm for him or um, I want to move the air so he can be more comfortable, he'll lay on the bed underneath it. He's used to it. So he will let the fan blow on. Do you hear that sound? I hope you did. He just went while I'm making the video over to his litter pan and peed in it. I just clean it. Ay, ay, ay. There's something else, guys. <sighs> okay, back to where we were talking. This here is his um, backpack that I can put him in if um, the truck should break down or for any reason that I need to have kind of a cage to put him in, that's his bag. He seems to think he's a big boy and he doesn't need the bag. So I can assure you, he does not always give me the easiest times getting in there. Sometimes he's better than others. Most of the time, though now he walks on his leash because he thinks he's a dog. So, yeah. Um, This bag that looks like a bag of junk is not um inside of it i have on this side is at least a couple days worth of clothes should i be stuck in the truck should i have to go somewhere in the truck i'm prepared i can stay in the truck for at least probably about um two to three days and i got enough stuff um and that's on this side and i have um spare sneakers and stuff is all in there the other side is um, raincoats, winter jacket, um, reflective vest, and all that stuff is on this side. Um, we seem to be getting more rain than anything, so at the moment, the raincoat's at the top. Then we move over again, because Diesel owns the truck, um, Diesel's toys. Um, that he has in the bed. He has a scratcher and as you can see he really likes a scratcher. He does He does not scratch anything in the truck. He never has. I've never witnessed him do it um, He um, only uses the scratcher He'll actually lick it. So I don't know why I, I, I wouldn't want to lick it, but hey So those are some of some of his toys that I wrangled up this morning then over here we have my million of pillows because I, I just like pillows. Um, I got speakers up top here and here. And then over here I have a mirror. It's kind of that thing does not come clean. I've tried to clean it a million times, but it just doesn't come clean. This is a little window. If I want air, I can open it. Um, and let air in the bunk. So that's what that does. Um, this truck is a 99 and it came equipped, I hope you guys can see, with an ashtray down here. I do not use the ashtray. It's clean, it's a little rusty or whatever, but, um, but yeah, it came equipped with an ashtray. I wouldn't want to have cigarettes that close to my head, um, but hey, you know what, I guess back in 1999, that's what they did. Um, ugh, I'm falling. Got a little bag over here that I can put stuff in. This light, um, I don't know if it works or not. I never put a bulb in it. It needs bulb. Might work. Don't know. I don't know that I'd ever use it. So, um, because the I on the roof right here over my head, I have a nice long light that really lights everything up. So I don't really need a reading light. I just turn that one on. Then over here, 
We have um, volume for the radio, heat, the blower, and that's to turn the light above my head on, the, the super dome light. So that's all the little gadgets we have back here. Um, and then the only other cubby I have is right next to me, right there, and that's where I keep the paperwork for the truck. Um, oh, there's one more secret hiding spot. Diesel loves, absolutely loves to sleep down here. He loves it. And the reason he loves it is because this truck has a floor window. And he loves this floor window. That's his window. Um, from when he was a kitten to even now, he'll squeeze his big old butt in there and um, he will curl up there and he'll watch out the window as we roll down the highway. But, all right guys. So, that's our truck. That's the inside of Cyclone. Oh, we got our little cross and stuff up front too. Um, and surprising enough, he doesn't chew on it or anything. He'll actually sit there with it on his head sometimes. So, uh, he, he knows not to eat the, the cross on the string. So, yep. Yeah. That's it, guys. I think we're going to call it a, a day. And we're going to get packed up and head out. That yeah, buddy. so much for watching guys if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe um like comment and share and um continue watching our channel to see what we're doing and what we're up to because we love having you here with us Thanks for hanging out with us. Take care. Bye-bye.